Hello, random people on the internet. My name is Banana, and today we are looking at the Aspect of the Void, which is a brand new weapon that came out with the Enderman Slayer update. By itself, it's not really too cool. It's pretty much just an Aspect of the End, but when combined with some of the other items in the game, it is one of the coolest and most unique things that we have seen in Skyblock for a bit. So, I am Enderman7. And if we go and we look at the leveling rewards, you can see that at level 6, you unlock the recipe for the Aspect of the Void. It's literally just a better Aspect of the End. There's nothing really unique about it other than the fact that it has a 45 mana cost rather than 50. It costs 32 Null Ovoids and an Aspect of the End. So it was a bit of a hefty craft. The price has gone down a little bit, but... Not that interesting, you would think. Like, when I saw this, I'm like, why are they adding this? What is the point? And the point of the shovel versus the sword is when you click a sword, you have to do a block animation. And it makes it so you can't really spam this. But the aspect of the void, you can just, you can just... You can just go. You can just click and click and click and click and you're going to teleport. No block animation. It's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. And I thought that that was, by itself... Uh, maybe worth it if you're trying to like really sweat and the lower mana cost is also just gonna be nice but then at level 7 you unlock an item called the ether warp conduit this was an item that mini clune talked about and we didn't know exactly what it does but oh my goodness 57 block teleport when combined with the transmission tuners it should go up to 60 blocks but it actually goes up to 61 because transmission tuners i don't think are working how they really intended them to work but th this isn't all the ether warp conduit it's crafted pretty expensive not not terrible and it costs soul flow to use but you know it's a mildly expensive craft it's pretty cool by itself but again, at level 7, you unlock a drop called the Ether Warp Merger. And this merger, my friend Eelman went and bought off the auction house. You should go subscribe to Eelman, he's awesome. He lent me this aspect of the void to use for the video. Really cool guy. But he bought it off the auction house, and we learned that you can combine the Ether Warp Conduit with the aspect of the void. So now you are going to have. All the time, you're going to have a normal right-click ability, which is just your normal instant transmission. But then you're going to have a shift right-click, which is going to basically teleport you to any targeted block 61 blocks away. So I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over there. It's, it's a bit finicky. Like, you have to figure out 61 blocks, but it is so fun to just screw around with. It obviously, it costs a little bit of soul flow. But it is, it is so fun. Let me see if I can get up there. Yep, I can. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's so cool. It is awesome. But there's also another use of it that we learned last night that is probably going to get nerfed because it is a little bit OP, a little bit broken. And let me just show you that right now. So the fun thing with this is that you can actually get the crystals in dungeons. And you can teleport in this with the aspect of the void. I don't know why they did this. I don't know how it works. But you can see if you just want to teleport around, kill things, you can do it. <laughs> that is, it is going to break dungeons. It is going to absolutely destroy it if this doesn't get patched before M7 because that basically destroys the whole beginning phase. <laughs> like, like, watch this thing going to terminals. This is, this is just fun because I have, to, I have to get to 2B here. Let's see if I can do it. All right, let's teleport there. Let's just teleport there for safe measure and we're teleporting over and we're, we're here and there we go. We're at 2B. Oh no, no one's at three for my team. Let's just go over. It's a bit weird to get used to. That's that's the toughest thing with it. That you definitely have a learning curve with learning how far away 60 blocks is, what to aim at, because you have to aim at a block that you can actually stand on, from what I've found. You can't just like aim at a ceiling and teleport to the ceiling. You have to aim like on the floor. But it's still absolutely nuts for doing these terminals. It, I've, I've been able to get all the way over here while my team is still finishing two somehow. 
So yeah, the aspect of the void with the ether warp conduit merged into it is definitely sort of interesting. It seems like a really niche item, like I can't really see it being too useful for like secret pathing, but maybe there will be something that is really good with it. I just think it is such a cool weapon though because being able to be over here and then be over here and then be right back at the start here is just so fun. It's so refreshing to just be able to go pretty much anywhere you want like the 60 block range sometimes feels a bit small like in a big area like the end right now but like you can just land on things like that easily you can jump to this spike oh my goodness dude i don't know if it's really worth the money because uh, the ether warp merger right now is about 40 million coins to combine it into aspect of the void so I'm not really sure. Let me know what you guys think about this item down below. Do you think it's going to get patched on floor 7? Do you think it's going to get nerfed? Because it is a bit overpowered. It's pretty much equivalent to the speeds that you could do while fly was a thing. Because you're just teleporting around like an admin teleporting to a hacker. It's absolutely absurd. So that's all I wanted to talk about with the aspect of the void and the ether warp merger. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, please remember to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.